Hello, this is Terry Marie, the Angel Lady, and welcome back. I surely hope you've had a chance to view video one where we talked about in depth belief, alignment, and focusing on the wrong end of prosperity. Just in case you haven't had a chance to do so, we're going to review a little bit of that before we get into today's training lesson of how to defy the unwritten rule. Belief is all about believing in yourself, believing in your dreams and in your goals. And we talked about the three levels of belief, which is the mental or surface belief, heartfelt or centered belief, and then the core or divinely inspired belief. Listen to the sound of my voice and how the tone is different between the three levels, surface, centered, and core. Again, surface or mental belief, heartfelt belief, and core or divinely inspired belief. When you believe in yourself and in your dreams and in your goals, you open up everything. You open yourself up wide to receive more of what you want and so much less of what you don't. We also talked about alignment, being in a line, balanced as if there is a line down the middle of your body that you are aligned and perfectly lined up with your dreams, your goals, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and energetically. When everything is in alignment and you believe at that core level, there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing that you cannot manifest. And we talked about not focusing on the wrong end or focusing on the wrong end of prosperity and abundance. In July of 2013, I was at the bottom of the bottom because I was focusing on the wrong end. I was focusing on not enough. Every time something came in or something good happened, I was able to start working with a, a new client. I would say thank you, but it's not enough. And that's exactly what I was focusing on, not enough. I was manifesting more, not enough. When we focus on what is not happening or what is happening in our life, we're focusing on the wrong end of anything. If I can figure it out and I'm sharing it with you and my life has turned around, there is no doubt in my mind or in my heart that this can happen for you as well. When you focus on having more than enough, no matter what the surface appearance is, you will start to change your life. It has happened for many of my own clients, if not all of them, myself included, my friends and my family. Every time we have a breakthrough session or a mentoring session, something happens. Everyone wants to get to that next level of belief, manifesting prosperity and abundance, which is so much more than just about the money energy that this planet, that this world revolves around. So, how to defy the unwritten rule. We talk about the unwritten rule. I don't know that it's ever been written, but it certainly has been applied and it has been spoken. It is something that I had to rework and to create a new thought pattern for myself because in the beginning I felt like I had to choose between spirituality and being prosperous or abundant. Having financial freedom and being financially debt free. But we don't. And here's why. When you accept the gift of attracting and manifesting, generating, however you want to say it, more prosperity and abundance, more money energy, you are freer to do what you came here to do, to live your life purpose full out, to be content, more content than where you are. If you're struggling to make the bills, to figure out how to attract the right and perfect clients so that you can work together and make that difference or even open up that healing center, move countries, 
if you are struggling, what do you think that does to your inner vibration, to your spiritual energy? It lowers it. When you are confident, when you believe that everything comes to you in the right moment and in, in ever increasing amounts under grace, then you get to, gosh, you get to hire a support team. You can become financially free. You can start to travel, take trips, other courses, whatever it is you want to do. You are actually giving back to the global community. And here's the other part, ladies and gentlemen. You're not taking anything from anyone else. What does it serve you? And this is an example. If you are no longer healthy, does that help anyone who is no longer healthy? Does your being physically sick or in a dis-ease state, in unbalanced, how does that help anyone else who's already in that state? It doesn't. So how does it help you to become sick? It doesn't. Remain in your own health. Remain balanced. Believe in yourself. Be aligned. Defy the unwritten rule. Attract more of what you want and less of what you don't. Raise your inner vibration mentally and emotionally. Become spiritually wealthy. Become financially wealthy. Give back to your local community and your global community. You get to hire people to help support you, among so many other things. I'd like to share with you a short case study about one of my clients, my students. Her name is Brenda Sue. Several months ago, she had a breakthrough session, and within 48 hours, that's just two days, she signed on two new clients. Recently, we spoke, and she now has two out of three, or two out of um, four, weekends booked for wedding events. She also has some other goals and very soon she will be so booked she will have to raise her fees again. And what's so significant about that? She's living her dream. She's helping make someone else's dream come true for their special day, for their special parties. If Brenda Sue can do it, and I believe, and believe me, she didn't believe in herself at all. She had a little bit, just enough, to keep the appointment for a breakthrough session. The point is, we're working this together. And because I believe in her, she was able to believe in herself just enough to take that next step. Defying the unwritten rule and creating her own dreams and her own reality. When you defy the unwritten rule, you are stepping out of the box. You are stepping out of the limitations in mind and belief systems and what other people have taught you. I'd like to answer one of the top questions about following something so exactly so that you don't mess it up. Here's the good news. If you follow your heart, there are, yes, there are foundational rules. For example, being grateful for where you are and what you have, setting your intentions and your goals. But there's no, at least not in my way of understanding things, there's no specific rule that you must follow. Otherwise, everything just blows up in your face. Now, here's what you can't do. Well, you can. It's just going to undermine everything that you've just set into motion. So you ask for, you pray, you meditate, you write it out. However it is you do it. And there are many ways to become aligned and there are many ways to ask for what it is you want, which is already yours in the realm of spirit. And you just open yourself, your beliefs, your heart, to receiving what's already yours into physical form. If you allow fear and doubt to creep in, do it again. 
and do it again and again and again until there's no fear and doubt until you get to that point where you start seeing recognizing the opportunities as they're coming to you as they're in front of you as they're almost falling into your lap if I can do it and so can my clients my friends and my family so can you this is about creating change in such a way that it sticks that you really understand it that you connect with yourself spiritually your health manifestation prosperity and abundance of course believing valuing love relationships all of it prosperity and abundance is about so much more than just the money energy and it literally affects every area of your life start today by defying the unwritten rule you can have it all it's not about being greedy or selfish you're not taking anything from anyone actually you'd be denying yourself and you're denying your own purpose and isn't that what we came here to do is to fulfill our life purpose to make a difference in the world it's what I came here to do and it's what I want to help you do just listen to this video and to video one hear what we're saying and what we're sharing with you start with an attitude of gratitude follow your heart defy the unwritten rule you don't have to choose between being spiritual or having financial wealth you can have it all in the next video we'll be talking to you about how and sharing with this amazing journey is all about that we're taking together we'll be answering the top five questions and sharing exactly how to put all of these pieces and these parts of this puzzle together so that you can start transforming and getting to the next level of vibration please do share your comments and your questions about this video and anything that you heard about in there I'd love to connect with you and to help you answer those questions and I'd love very much for you to share your journey what you learned what you rediscovered what you reconnected with what resonated with you most until next time believe in yourself I already believe in you